All right, is this, is this, is this thing on? <laughs> hey internet, welcome back. My name is Mark, if you don't know me already. I'm a senior at NYU studying computer science and linguistics, graduating in December. That is right around the corner. <laughs> life is scary. And welcome back to sort of a reading ramble, but mostly I just wanted to talk about life for a little bit. So reading rambles in parentheses, but the main title of the video is whatever, but I'm putting this in the reading ramble playlist because I wasn't originally going to record the October reading ramble. Now, why you may ask? Because, I haven't read any of this. <laughs> now I didn't record one last month, September, because I didn't read anything. And I, I've i sat down and for the last hour or so, um, I started writing out things that have been frustrating me lately about my own habits. Cause I've been, I feel like I've been going backwards and that backwards is gaining some momentum. Um, whether it be in fitness, uh, nutrition, reading, you know, schoolwork, all that fun stuff. I'm trying to use the frustration. So, I don't know, quick thing that I did was just wrote out the things that were frustrating me. It felt like there were a lot of them, but there were only six or seven. Um, there's, you know, maybe value in this video such that you can try this yourself. Maybe you just want to chill, listen to something, whatever. Hello and welcome. I'd love to hear, you know, where you are, why you're here in the comments, if, you, if you're down to let me know. Um, but this is going to be a reading ramble. Sorry. Yeah, this is going to be just me talking about how I'm trying to get these habits back on track and some observations that I've made disguised as a reading ramble. So I'm gonna be talking about how I wanna to try to get to read more, but it's kind of more or less all of these things. Uh, it's gonna to apply to all of these things, right? But anyway, I wrote down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things on, on this list, things that have frustrated me. One of which is, you know, I'm not reading enough. I have not read completely any book this month, uh, nor last month. My goals for the last reading ramble were, pff, I don't even remember. One of them was A Thousand Splendid Sons, but I was just like, I don't really want to read this, so I, I gave it away. Probably fascinating, but I just, I don't know. I, the drive wasn't there for me. I'm, I'm more fascinated in these other books. Yeah, so I've been really frustrated with myself. Um, not necessarily in a bad way. It's just like, dude, I want to read more. So <clears throat> in terms of where I am at, it's, uh, I have been reading Letters to Milena. I Am I 100 pages in yet? <laughs> not even 100 pages in yet. I'm on page 95. <laughs> Uh, that means something because I'm constantly like, oh man, I just got to 100, page 100 today. Or I will get to page 100 today. Uh, Letters and uh, Pleasures and Sorrows of Work by Alan de Botain, which is, I'm almost done, question mark. The thing I've been reading most, uh, it's a lot of pictures, so it's kind of short, but it also got very, very wet. But good book. When I finish it, I'll talk about it. This is just what I'm reading at the moment. The Will to Power by Nietzsche. Uh, I got back into this. I got like 10 pages in, I think, um, in the last week or so. And then Nerds Per Minute uh, was a, is a book by Sean Rona that I need to set aside time to read for multiple reasons because I want to make a, a typing video out of it, but also it's a hefty boy. And there's a lot of, I don't know, I think there's a lot of good information in it, but these are the ones I need to read. And then we have uh, Haikyuu, which is in Japanese for Japanese learning. If you want to know more about that learning log, this video has absolutely no goal. And Musashi's Dakota. Now, uh, I haven't actually started this, but I really want to. Now, amongst the books on my bookshelf, we have so many things. <laughs> I really want to read all these. And it's just fascinating that I, I haven't, I'm not reading them. And I'm sure many people can probably relate to that. I wanted to make this reading ramble because it, it kind of felt like, you know, if I just didn't do it again and told myself, oh, I'd read these books in November. Well, I tried that. I didn't do it in September. And then I said, oh, I'm not going to read these books. I'm going to read these books in October. And guess what? I, I didn't clearly. And so some observations I've made about my own behavior, sort of, is that I kind of need to read when I'm given the time if that makes sense. Or at least that's how I'm going to try and approach it this month. You know, if I can't make time to read, if I sit down and I want to chill, you know, I get back from parkour at what, 9.45, 10, and I want to chill for a minute. If I'm not going to read, you know, and watch TV or something, then I need to use other time. Now, one thing I said I would do in the last learning log was, uh, sorry, last reading ramble was read more on the subway on my commute to and from class. And I sort of do that, but not all the time. It's very inconsistent. There's needs to be this strong notion of, you know, sit down and read because once I start reading, it tends to be okay. It's just when I finish, you know, a chapter or something, and that's probably one of the problems with letters to Milena, it's each letter and it doesn't last more than a page and a half. And so, and there are headers for each one. So you, every time you hit a new letter, it's like, oh, <clears throat> a new section, I can take a break now. That kind of defeats the purpose of reading this book. And I really enjoy it. I, I'm getting a lot of, lot out of it. Letters from Lena specifically. Apologies if I don't cut out all the sniffs today. You know what? I am talking to a camera. Get over it. Uh, <laughs> doing, you know, it's, oh, it's, it's, I think it's just really heavily this notion of self-discipline and, um, maybe putting in some cold turkey blocks again, but 
that problem isn't, I have a lot going on, but at the same time, I can still make time for these things, if that makes any sense. You know, for tutoring, I can, ugh, God, I can talk about this stuff for ages, I guess, but you know, I don't know if it's really valuable to anybody. Other things I've just been frustrated about, like my Japanese learning is, is progressing, but very slowly, uh, slower than I'd like. No, very slowly, very slowly by any objective metric. Uh, you know, I could still be putting time into it hundred percent. I'm just ranting. This is just for me to look back on. You know what that's, yeah, this video is just for me to look back on to see, did I do something about it? Can I, can me now keep future me accountable? Can I look back and say, yeah, you know what? I did do something with myself <laughs> instead of writing it down in a journal, I guess. Um, Sleep schedule has been inconsistent, it's not stretching, whatever. The specifics don't matter. But, you know, one of the things was I'm really upset that I'm not making videos every week. Uh, I really want to be. Making videos has become, it's, it's, I guess it's always been a staple, but that's why I'm just sat, I sat down and I said, you know what? No. I am going to record the reading ramble. Did I have any notes for this? Uh, I have been doing a lot of readings for school. I suppose that's fair. You know, I could make so many excuses. Oh man, school's keeping me busy. I'm taking graduate classes. Ah, or, uh, you know, all oh, the reading for my classes is so much. Uh, I'm reading an intro to formal semantics textbook. Does that count? Uh, reading a bunch of papers, Quine on philosophy language. Um, but you know, those are for classes. It's not leisure reading. And I want to be leisure reading. I want to read every single one of these books. And yet, I sat down and I recorded a video instead of going down and going and sitting down and reading them. Hmm. Oh, the choices we make and the places we find ourselves. All right, something I have been thinking about largely related to, I guess, kickboxing. I've only been going once a week these last two weeks, which is bad, both financially in terms of, you know, am I getting my money's worth? But also, I don't know, I just, uh, maybe it plays into the sleep schedule, but long story short, I think because I do want to do all these things, there is still this desire to do these things. I need to use the desire in the moment. Oh, it's reading time. Once I start reading, the desire will keep me reading. Once I, you know, am awake, the desire will keep me awake. But what I need to do <laughs> is really, you know, put my foot down and be like, Mark, this is, it is non-negotiable. You must be reading on the subway. I know you like Japanese music and music in general and thinking imaginary thoughts. I think a lot. Introspection is my middle name. I know you like doing that, but you gotta read on the subway. You know, if you're awake, you just, you gotta go. You got to go. Gotta go ski. All right. I mean, that's, I thought this was gonna be long. I just wanted to get some stuff off my chest. I sorted this, in, in case you want to try something on your own, if you find yourself being frustrated, something I just, this is the thing I'm trying. I pretty much wrote everything that's been frustrating me, that I've been frustrated at myself, uh, but also in general. And, some things you can't control. You simply can't do anything about. And I think making lists like these are great because, you know, in my head, it, it felt like there were so many things that were frustrating me. Not getting the, the blog done, uh, learning Japanese slowly, uh, procrastinating schoolwork more than I'd like, making one video every two weeks at best, you know, this kind of thing that I think, God damn it, <laughs> I need to do this more. Oh, but I'm gonna wait for the motivation. I guess the motivation came out for this video. But anyway, making this list is good because I might, you know, some things I'd write down and think, can I do something about this? And if the answer is no, then it's, you know, Stoic philosophy would say, it's just not worth worrying about. Uh, I have better things to focus my time on. And that's another thing. I found myself complaining about these random things that I either can't do anything about or I chose to do. So yeah, my list of eight things uh, are things that I can control. There really isn't an excuse to have no time to read. On a good note, it doesn't feel like I've been watching like too much TV or YouTube. I've been watching barely any YouTube. It doesn't feel like I've been watching too much TV. It's like the occasional anime at this point. And that's good because, you know, in the past it, it would have been easy relatively to line up and say, all right, if I'm watching three hours of Netflix, no, make, you know, an hour into reading and then two hours and then all three hours into reading. But it is genuinely just, you know, tiresome stuff. So I will continue to, I don't think, you know, I have this whole thing in my head about finding time and making time. And I think I'm not going to make time for reading, but I am going to find time. I'm going to try and keep it on the forefront of my mind and say, hey, you know, I have 10 minutes. Why not just crack open a book real quick? You know, you're on the subway or I'm on the subway. This is specifically me. It's like, oh, I should. Well, good thing this isn't long. The battery's almost dead. I forgot to charge it. I've got, you know, 15 minute subway ride, 30 minutes. The, the train's late. It's not for another nine minutes. Instead of standing there listening to music and, you know, thinking about stuff, which is not necessarily a bad thing, um, or even worse, you know, pulling out my phone. Um, pull out your book. That's why you bring them with you. So for November, I have a lot planned for November. Not that I can't read during November, but I don't know how the reading log will go. Maybe I'll sit down on like the 30th, but 
you know, you know, November reading log will ramble will come about. But my goals for the November reading ramble are, you know what? I have kept minimizing my goal. <laughs> this is stupid. I'm going to read all six of these. And I think maybe I need to restrict myself to one book at a time to reduce choice. So I'm going to finish, you know, it's the 29th today. I'm going to finish this Alan de Botain book today and tomorrow. Then I'm going to finish Letters to Milena. And then I'm going to read Nerds per Minute. Haikyuu will come naturally, but those are my goals for next month. Uh, if you have your own reading goals or just goals in general, maybe you made a frustration list. I'd love to hear it. Let me know in the comments. Uh, that'd actually be cool if people, you know, if people took something from that. But if, if there's a method you use, I don't know. I just, this frustration has been building up over the last like three weeks. And I think this morning, I don't know why, but I woke up and I was like, change, dude. Say, so yeah, I'm going to go set some alarms, figure out times to shut off the day and read for a bit. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope you did enjoy, even though this video was very random and off the cuff. But without further ado, have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. And if I don't see you in the next video, I'll see you in the next reading ramble. Take it easy.